Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Dick Bartolo, Mads Mad Destroyer, and the Gizwiz here at CES, the Cooking Expo Spectacular. Look at all these great dishes. I am so Dick, excited. Dick, Dick, I, I know, I know that uh, the cooking is is awesome, but the, uh, CES actually stands for Consumer Electronics Show. Oh, you mean gadgets? Yes, yeah. We, we uh, the food is great, but we we have lots of gadgets. There's we, gadgets yeah. too, right. and food. Okay, let's go look around. Wait a minute, I see some familiar names. Let's see what's doing over there at Cobra. Hey, Rebecca, Rebecca. Hello. So tell me about the new. Uh, radar that goes under the hood. Which okay. is that? So that is called the iRadar S series. Um, it's it's discreet under the hood, and then it also pairs with a smartphone. Um, you can download the iRadar app with that, and then you'll get all the alerts coming through your phone. And what does that retail for? That retails two ninety nine. It's available March, August. August. Okay. okay. I see the cops coming now, so we're going to duck out of here. That's Cobra. Oh, Asa. And we're going to take a look at, we're pushing people away. And this is the new Asa Chromebook. And this little guy is pretty neat because the retail is $199. So if you want a little more than a tablet and you want a full keyboard, this is the new Asa Chromebook. So we're going to put that back down. And I have a shopping bag down there, so it'll be in the shopping bag. We're seeing appliances here. So let's see what Whirlpool has. So tell, what, what's unique about this, Maggie? Hi, what's unique about this? Okay, so this fridge combines a refrigerator along with a speaker system that's inbuilt. If you touch it here, you'll see the vibrations. Oh, okay, so if you want music in the kitchen. If you want music in the kitchen, it's Bluetooth compatible. You just go to any Bluetooth compatible device like an MP3 or an iPad. You choose your playlist and boom, you can go in there and play music. Freeze up all the, the counter space that you have. No wires and messy you know, things on your, on your kitchen space. You could listen to music while you're cooking. You could listen to a recipe step by step, you know, instead of going back and looking at a book and going back again. You could listen to podcasts. Uh, you could have a dinner party, and you could have... Okay, we get the picture. Okay, so it's cool music. And what's it called? It's called Cool Vox. Oh, it's already cool, cool something. Okay, and it sells for? Uh, we are, it's still in the concept stage, so we don't, haven't fixed the price for it yet, but stay tuned. Okay. It's in the concept stage, which means the milk in there will not be good by the time it's on the market. We must stop by a place that has gook in a bin. Oh, whoa. Tell me about this. This is called D3O. This is an impact material. Okay. Today is impactology, the science in protection. Yeah. Is that a real word? It's a word we use to capture the science in protection as a concept. So what we have here is D3O, which is an impact material. It's a liquid, but on impact, it behaves a bit like a solid. The molecules all lock together, and when the impact hits it, it pushes that force away from the point of impact. And the way that I can demonstrate that is to wrap that around my finger and use this mallet. It's a real mallet. And whack that there. And you can see that none of that impact is actually making it through to my finger. because the you force. Know what? I don't believe away. you. Can I do that? Absolutely. Okay. Prepare your finger. Okay. The finger is being prepared. That's right. Okay. Right now, will you hold that mic? I'll hold that. Okay. Give it a bit of a squish okay. so it's okay. place it out there. Flat. Yep. Okay. And now I'm going to, I don't believe it. I don't feel a thing. Ah, 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 ah. No, actually, actually I survived. And, and so 
This technology is used in the Tech 21 cases. Absolutely, yeah. So this one, for example, is one of our cases. Here, put it down. Let me give it a little. <laughs> well, I'll show you there. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and that, that one, for example, is uh, in the Apple stores at the moment. And we do Samsung S3, iPhone 5, iPhone 4. We've got them for other cases, uh, Nokia's and so on. So, and, and the uh, price range? So uh, it, depends, it depends which one you're going for, but anything around $30, for example. And the ones we're uh, launching today, which is Explorer, which is a waterproof case, waterproof up to two and a half meters, that's going to be around $80 to $100. And that'll be for pads? Uh, that'll be for the iPad mini and also for the iPhone 5. And the other product we're launching today that I've got to tell you about, I'm most excited. Okay, I've, he's got to tell me about it. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't, but he's been very kind. Please let me tell you about it. <laughs> so this is an impact shield. This is using um, the same material that goes into bulletproof glass, and we're putting that on the front of your phone. And now we actually have a gun. He's wearing one of the... <laughs> no, okay. Okay, Giles, thank you so much. You much. Tech 21. Chad said, Dick, more gadgets, less shtick. All right, so we're going to be very serious about this here. And, oh, whoa, 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 this woman's dancing. Whoa, whoa. So, all right, yeah, tell me, what, what's the name of this product? This is PlayFi, and it's you a... You have to dance. Oh, I'm dancing. Oh, dancing. Are you okay, dancing, too? Are you dancing? Okay. <laughs> this is PlayFi, and I can get Michael to come introduce it to you and show you a demo. Okay, Michael. Okay, Michael. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm going, man. I'm going. You see, what we got right here, PlayFi itself is an ingredient brand for uh, multi-room, completely lossless wireless audio. And what, and what that means specifically is fantastic audio without the need for mesh networks, without the need for any complicated wires. You just connect and go. All you got to do is open up the app right here, look for the speakers you want, control them real simple. You just turn them up, turn them down, and it's pretty fast and really immediate. And that comes from our incredible engineers who've got just... I don't know, they got brains out the yin-yang. It's crazy, my friend. It's crazy. And we can find it at, is it playfi.com? Yeah, you can find it at uh, playfiaudio.com. Uh, if you want to purchase it, you can go to theforest.com for the forest. Dancing, Michael, you're not dancing. My, my apologies, sir. My apologies. I, I know the rules. I'm going to stick to them. You can go to forest.com, make a purchase there. You can also go to amazon.com for the forest speakers. And you can also head over to Rent. Ren Audio, and then pick up uh, those Ren speakers right there. Those are the really nice ones that we're first partnering up. They got some fantastic audio in them, sir. Okay, there you go. And wait, oh, Swing Tip. Uh, Mr. Swing Tip here, Van. Hi there, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, Van. Uh, we're with Twit this week in tech. Okay. And, you know, I know a little bit about golf. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I know that you have to really hit the ball right for it to go through the hoop. So tell me why swing tip can aid the golfer. Yeah, absolutely. So the nice thing about swing tip is in real time when you're on the course, it's a little device that's, that basically hooks onto your golf. Yeah, absolutely. So here's the device swing tip on the, on the club, and you don't even know it's there. It just, it just is positioned, yeah, just positioned right below the grip. And in real time via Bluetooth, it communicates with your Apple phone or your Android uh, tablet. And so literally, as you can see right here, the blue is the back, the back swing, the yellow to the red is your downswing, and you're able to see that in real time in terms of how you're doing. You're able to get real time feedback on key metrics. And for example, if you're having problems like say hitting it on the heel, we have a little tip for you and tutorial in terms of how you can correct that, that defect as well as we, we have little videos for you that you can see as well. Now, aren't the people you're playing golf with going to be annoyed you're walking around carrying an iPad with you? It, it, actually, you know, literally, you can have it in your pocket, in your phone, and it's capturing your data. So you don't have to have anything. Nobody has to even know. Oh, okay. Very, so when you, when you, after the game, could you go back and actually see what you, every swing you did? Absolutely. So matter of fact, if you want to take a look here, we can go back. We can look at a session, and we can, we can either review them individually, or I can even, for example... I can create an email with a scorecard so my pro can see how I'm, I'm progressing. You can see my whole session in one snapshot. That is amazing. And Swing Tip is available now? Available now. It's $129.99. It's on Amazon.com. But if you go to my Swing Tip, or excuse me, SwingTip.com, you'll be able to see all the partners who are carrying the product. Perfect. Thank you so much. We're going over here to AVG. Don't run away. Hi, how you doing?
So uh, what are you showing? Actually, I am. Uh, let me say in advance that I'm not an, uh, an official authorized spokesperson. I, I don't like official authorized people. So I'm go. To, uh, I'm happy to tell you about the technology. So basically, AVG um, has solutions to protect your entire digital lifestyle. So um, everybody knows that it started with antivirus protection for your. We want the new stuff. The new, new, new. new stuff um, is that you need to protect your kids from bullies online. You know, it's not just a technological threat anymore. It's a social threat and AVG empowers people to protect themselves. It also empowers consumers to, to, to stop marketers from following them around online. Um, so we just published Wide Open Privacy um, that gives consumers a proactive method to, uh, to stop marketers from, from following them and to protect them. Yeah, no, that's an excellent idea. So uh, how do you buy the product or download the product? Most of uh, AVG's most powerful uh, technology is for free. Go to avg.com and you can find it all there. Yeah. That is really amazing. Okay. Hey, we're back and we're roaming the floor at Digital Experience. Mindstorms by Lego. They have great stuff. We're going to find a spokesperson. Oh, this little robot might be live. Whoa. Holy cow. He grabbed that mic like it was Chad. So we'll find someone here because this stuff looks great. Carmilla. I'm good. I'm great. This is a great show. So. Is this a brand new line? Yeah. So we're announcing today the brand new LEGO Mindstorms EV3 coming out second half 2013. It's a cool robotic set for children of all ages. It's, it's been made extremely expandable, at the same time really playful and with lots of new features in it. We are speaking to iOS. We, we, we want to see stuff. We don't want to hear stuff. We want to see stuff. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh. From your iOS devices and Android devices, so I can actually control my robot from my iPhone or my iPad. Whoa. Or I can, uh, I can use the gyro, uh, the IR sensor system. Sorry. So this is this one can find and detect this one. You want me to show it to you? So this this one is gonna go find that one. Okay. He's gonna go searching now. His name is Spiker. So Spiker, gonna, Spiker, on. I lost my luggage. So Spiker, where's my luggage? Wait, he's fire. What? Oh, oh, he's firing it. Oh. And now. And now he's gonna go find it. Woo. Okay. What does that kit cost, by the way? Three hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, you can. You can. So the set comes with building instructions for five models. Actually, I'm just. Do you have the box here? Yes, I do have the box here. So it comes with building instructions for five different robots uh, that we have 3D building instructions actually for all of them. So this is a cool new feature also that you can build your robots. Um, well, it's just well, you know, you don't have to show that. We want to see more action. We want action. Sure. What does this guy do? Place your bets, please. Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to put my bed here. This way? All right. Daryl, you want blue? Oh, like that. Okay, Daryl, is this okay? All right, Daryl says yes. And Chad, Chad. Green on the last one. Green on the last one. And uh, we have a yellow, we do. Yellow, well, actually, where does the yellow? Oh, okay. Okay. Everstorm on the shoulder, and then he's gonna find the beacon right here. I'll have to turn it on, and then it's gonna spin the lucky wheel, and we'll see who wins. Okay. All right. Go! Yeah, this is good. All right, he's pushing the button. He's pushing the button. Oh, he's turning. Oh my God! Oh, the wheel is spinning. Okay. And there's more? Is more going to happen? Oh, wait. Somebody's coming over here. Oh, there is a prize involved in this. And it's a brand new Ford car. Oh, my word. Wow, this is really amazing. It was you who, uh, who had the yellow, right? So... Uh even if it wasn't, he's the producer, so we always, no matter what, he wins. I haven't won a thing since he joined the staff. There he is. Okay. 
This is really amazing, and is it out now? It's coming out second half 2013, so we're announcing it today, but it's not available now. Okay, and the name of it is? Lego Mindstorms EV3. Little Mindstorms EV3. I thought it was DV3, uh, three. EV3. Uh, thanks so much. Okay, uh, you little robot, you. You too. Oh, he, he finally, I, fi I scared him. I finally scared that little robot. Okay, so now we're going to continue roaming around. And the amazing thing is, every time we get near a food booth, Chad says, no, up this aisle. Oh, the parrot. You know what? This is amazing. Leo is flying the parrot from his hotel room. Yeah, I know. It's just amazing. I got a press release from Targus about a new kind of pen. So we're going to stop by the Targus booth and find out what it is. And, and it was kind of weird. The, the press release said something about you could turn any laptop into a touch screen laptop. And uh, hi, how are you? And you are? Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. And what, what is this device called? This is a touch pen for Windows 8. Touch pad for Windows 8. And this is assuming you have Windows 8? Yes. But no touch pad. Yes, correct. Okay. Correct. And so you start by doing what? So basically, once you get the device, you, it comes with a pen and obviously a receiver. You connect the receiver via USB, and it's a one-time calibration. You touch the four corners here to show how big the uh, screen is. It works up to 17 inches. Once that's done, you're good to go. But so you can see here, definitely not. Oh, it, it has to be with that pen. It has to be with this pen. It has to be connected. Even when it knocks off, this connects via a magnet. The connection isn't there. And the other end of this is just in a USB port? Yes, it's right here. There for you to see right there. Oh, okay. So, the here, the brush paint, the nice things here. So, the nice thing about the pen is it ha you don't have to learn any gestures the way any other um, devices, sorry, any other, de any other devices, you know, you have to learn four, five different gestures. This is just kind of like your finger. Very nice, very, very intuitive, so you don't have to learn anything. You know, it's amazing that she wrote Hi Twit TV because that's who we are. And what does this retail for? Ninety-nine, ninety-nine. And is it shipping now? It'll be shipping in Q2. Q2? Yes. So that's spring? Yes, spring. spring. And, and it's called the Targus? Touch pen for Windows 8. Touch pen for Windows 8. Thank you so much. So what do, oh, this is neat. What is this? So this is Logitech's first ever uh, mechanical gaming keyboard. Oh, wait, gaming. Hang on. You know what? I know this is really ridiculous, and I know the answer is going to be no, but I'm going to say if it's gaming, there's one person on Twit who knows about gaming, and that's our cameraman, Daryl. Oh, Daryl said no. So I, I guess Chad will. Well, Ch oh, Chad, will you do it? I, I will, Dick, just, just for you. And because and Daryl made me, he paid me $20 to, to do it. You can explain. This is our right. Hi, Andrea. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I love the hair. Thank you so much. Okay, so what are we looking at today in this new uh, gaming lineup that we have? So this is Logitech's first ever mechanical gaming keyboard. This is the Logitech G710 Plus mechanical gaming keyboard. Um, it is awesome. Let me just tell you that. And when you say mechanical keys, for the people at home, what she means is that when you push these, there's a really nice travel and feel to every single key. It's not like one of the uh, plastic or rubber memory cell keys that you have. This is a very different style, and it, it feels... It feels almost posh to your fingers. It's, it's really nice. Some other things that you get with a mechanical keyboard is uh, really uh, uh, low latency ghosting. So do you have uh, that sort of technology in this keyboard? Yes, absolutely, we do. Um, so it, it, definitely one of our features. Um, we also have um, media controls on board, which is really helpful for a lot of people. Um, and then also backlighting here is um, really important for some gamers. You know, you really want to be able, when you're in the dark, your lights are off and you're getting really into the game, you want to make sure you're highlighting the keys that you want to use. Um, so we have some features here where you can turn down the backlighting and highlight your WASP keys, um, your arrow keys that are over there to the left to help you navigate and things like that. Um, we also have these uh, G keys right here that you can customize to any action that you want. 
Um, and uh, those are the, the big key things. I that's, that's nice. And, and I, uh, I really do want to point out that these WASDA keys are nice and different, so you can, you can find them real fast when you're trying to game. Now, uh, you have a few macros over here, but if I look at this mouse, look at the amount of information that you can uh, command on this mouse. What is going on? What's this mouse named? And, and, and what are some of the things that's going on with this mouse right here? Cool. Well, it's actually really cool. Um, you can see we have a ton of buttons, but this is the Logitech G600 MMO gaming mouse. This is a gamer's mouse, and it's specific for MMO players. So those folks out there who are playing you know, multiplayer online um, games, um, trying to do a lot of functions. So those are 12 button keys right there. They're all programmable. And there's also a shift function. So if you push that down, you can actually double the features um, of, all those uh, of all those buttons. Great. And so uh, for folks at home who are wondering what she means by MMO, if you're playing World of Warcraft um, and you need a macro for you know, heal and uh, you know, lightning attack at the same time, you can hit just one of these buttons and it'll launch any of those commands. And so by holding down the shift key, you double the amount of buttons that you have because uh, there's sort of one layer, hit the shift, and then you get a second layer of buttons. Well, that's really cool. If people want to find out more information about Logitech, where can they go? They can go to Logitech.com. Great, thank you so much. Okay, well, um, thank you, Chad. We're going to walk on now to see what's new at NVIDIA. You are? Danny Shapiro. Danny. Danny. Oh, Danny uh, Dick at Twit This Week in Tech. So what is this dashboard device? What we're showing is our automotive solutions. Sure. So NVIDIA produces a lot of different types of products. We have uh, mobile processors called Tegra that are going into phones and tablets. Now we have an automotive grade solution that's going into vehicles. Customers of ours include Audi, BMW, Tesla Motors, Lamborghini, Bentley. And here we're showing a prototype concept of an instrument cluster that we developed with Delphi in this case. So they're an automotive supplier. And it shows us uh, what's possible in terms of having really nice 3D graphics um, as part of the instrument cluster. And we can select different skins here and see what beautifully rendered 3D graphics can look like in the instrument cluster. So if you want to select from our address book, we have a nice cover flow. We have different alerts and, and dials and buttons and things where we can simulate you know, a three-dimensional navigation system. So now, is this a concept or is this coming? What you're looking at right here is a concept that was designed by Delphi and NVIDIA to show automotive customers. We have a number of projects in process with automakers and they don't let us show them until they're ready to unveil the cars. But some of the cars we are showing in our booth are the Tesla Model S, which went into production last year, as well as the Audis, which now have Google Earth and Street View, powered by NVIDIA. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. good. And now speaking of directions, I am heading to a food table. So I'm gonna take a little break, but for you at home, magically, I'll be back like, that, this is going to be so exciting. You know what? I'm going to meet Flipper. Yeah, you know Flipper, the TV series? Well, Flipper is here. So they told me Chad said go over and talk to George. George, where's Flipper? Dick, I think they're talking about Flippers. Oh, fl like, oh you know, like well, wait a minute. Flippers, you know, you know pinball Flippers. This is good, too. George, this is great. Tell me about this. This is a pinball machine for the home dedicated from the ground up for your house, half the weight of our commercial models, half the price of our commercial models. Well, you know what? Not knowing how much a commercial pinball is, you have to tell me both prices. So our commercial models are anywhere from $5,000 to $8,000. This is a $24.99 pinball machine, and it feels just like a pinball machine because it is a stern pinball machine. You know what? Let's get... Uh, some. Oh, okay. You know what? I should be playing this while with actually, we're going to have uh, Michael play it while I, while I continue talking. So, what market are you aiming for? Is it like kids or? No, it's, it's basically going to teach people how to play pinball. So, it's everybody. This will go in a rec room. It'll go in little Johnny's bedroom, but it'll go in a rec room just as well. You can move it up and down the stairs without too much trouble and it feels just like real pinball. Now, I'm gonna ask you a question. Can you turn the sound off or very, very low? You can turn it down very, very low. 
Okay, you can't turn it off. I'm just thinking of the parents who, who buy this for little John. I'm very, very low. <laughs> Uh, is this on the market now, or is this coming? It's on the market now. Uh, we and how do, what, what, what did, I don't know of like pinballs or us. You know, I, I know know of no store. Where does one go to buy a? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh yeah, Costco, Costco twenty four ninety nine. How many different models? Two models: Transformers and the Avengers. Right. And over here is Transformers, and. You don't, do you need money to put in it? No, sir. It's always on free play. It does have a tilt, but it's also got a real multi-ball. It's got real stern pop bumpers, real stern flippers. If you were cheap, could you have a coin slot installed? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and, George, what's your website where people can see uh, get more information? Stern pinball. Pinball.com. This is really neat. George, thanks so much. Thank now I don't care that Flip is not here. This is really great. We're just butting right in. Hi, I'm Lee from Snap Grip, and this is the Snap Grip controller, which is a hardware Thank you, camera. Laura. Controller. Thank you, Laura. It's a hardware camera controller for your smartphone. It brings shutter, focus, zoom, and uh, mode controls, but it's removable. The data connection's Bluetooth, which means we're phone agnostic. So we support both iOS and Android. The Snap Grip case is available for iPhone 4, iPhone 5, and Samsung Galaxy S3. Yay! Galaxy S3 has a back. Yay! Our app's available on the uh, App Store as well as Google Play. We're going to be on the market in February at $99. We also expect to be publishing an API so other photography apps can go and integrate with Snap Grip. Uh, you know what I love about it is that you a lot of times hand somebody your smartphone and say, take my, my picture, and they touch a dozen other buttons, or you yourself touch a bunch of other buttons. So I love the fact that this is just like a camera shutter. Everybody understands this user interface. So we thought, let's add this onto the device that people are using for photography now. And what I personally love about this product is you look at it, you not only understand what it is, you know how to use it. Perfect. And uh, you said February. February will be on the market. We're on Kickstarter right now. It's looking pretty successful on Kickstarter, but with the interest we've had, I'm very confident we're going to be on the market anyway in February. And you have your own website for more information? You can visit us at snapgrip.com, and that's snapgrip with two P's in the middle. Two P's in the middle. Okay. George, thank you very much. Not George. I didn't even ask your name. My name's Lee. 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 But for now, you'll be George, because that's the only name I can think of. Okay, Lee, thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. Hey, that's pretty clever. I have to find the gentleman that I spoke to earlier. Well, we'd like to see a demo of the little uh, gadget here. Yeah, I mean, uh, all in all, it is, uh, it is a very cool device. I mean, biometrics is kind of, you know, the, biometrics is the way of the future. And it's pretty good to see companies like uh, Sensorium actually creating a part that can measure your health, your ratio. OK, we're going to actually have him tell us what he's doing. OK, so I've just plugged in the device now. And I'm doing a real-time measurement. So uh, Tinky measures your heart rate, your respiratory rate, and the oxygen in your blood. And so what you're seeing now is the output of the uh, detector. It's the analog signal real-time. And um, we're going to get from this uh, those three parameters, which I mentioned. And then we're going to get a culmination of the three, which we call the VITA. The VITA is a number that's a little bit easier for the everyday person to follow than, than trying to keep track of all the other three numbers. How long does the uh, little test take to get that information? It's 30 seconds, and it's finishing now. You see the little bar on the bottom coming to the end. My, my battery's a little low. I think we're going to still make it through. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the way live television kind of works. We did it earlier. His uh, pulse rate was 100 which he said a little bit high, but it's been 100 since he's been doing all the demos. But we can ask uh, how much it costs and when it's available. So it's available direct from zensorium.com. It's a 119, $119, that includes shipping. And it's on the market now? Yes, it is. And the website is? Zensorium.com. I don't know how to spell Zorium. Z-E-N-S-O-R-I-U-M. There you go. It does work. We saw it a little bit earlier. And the man is still alive, which shows that it does work. Okay. 
We're going to see something now that won't be out until a year to a year and a half from now, but it's very clever. So this is the device here, and the company is Proxy. And so what you could, this is, this is ultimately what's going to happen. You'll have AA batteries, and most devices use AA batteries. When it's time to charge them, you can take the batteries out and put them in this charger. If you want, you can just take the batteries out, or you can leave the batteries in and throw the entire device in, and we'll see if Daryl can get a close-up there. You can actually see the battery, the green LED blinking to tell you that it's charging. So as I said, you can throw the whole toy in, or you can just take the batteries out and put them in, and they will charge. Now, this is not coming along for Another 18 months at least. Another 18 months. Do you have anything that's coming out sooner? Um, we do. So on this side over here, you'll see some of our two-dimensional charging solutions for smartphone devices. It's a fully integrated charging system. Uh, the receiver is built into the phone over here. You'll see I've got a standard Galaxy S3 phone with one of our receivers embedded inside it. You'll notice there's no sleeves that make the phone thicker. And it will recharge anywhere on this pad over here. And I can place any number of these devices onto the pad in any orientation that I want. So it doesn't matter where I, where I place them. I can swap those around. You know, are they, uh, what are the LEDs telling us on the side? The LEDs over here, if I take all the devices off, you see those LEDs go off. When I place the first device on, you'll see that an LED comes on. So it's detected the first phone and it's charging that. When I place the second phone on, it does the same. It detects that second phone and turns on the LED. We're having lots of fun shooting things live. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's try that one again. So when I pl when I pl no LEDs, no phones, and now one LED, one phone down, one LED. Uh, one LED. Now when I place the second phone, we've got the second LED that comes on. Okay. Okay. And then when I place the third phone, you've got the third LED comes on. So you see I'm charging all three devices. And the key thing with this is I can place them anywhere I want on the pad. Okay? And the receiver is integrated inside the phone, so I don't need a sleeve that goes on the back of it. The other key thing is that the charge time of this system is as good as a wired charger. So it doesn't take you any longer to recharge your device than it would plugging it into the wall. Now, Mostly, metal uh, objects generally everywhere, and people like to store often keys, coins, wallets, phones, all in the same place. So you see here, I can place coins on this device. Oh my God, it's charging that quarter. And it won't charge the quarters. Wow. <laughs> that quarter. well, when might this be out? Uh, so we're hoping to release this within the next 12 to 18 months. And there's no idea of price or anything yet? We're a technology company, so we work with the OEMs to incorporate our technology inside their handset devices, and they will release it as part of those products. Well, you know, I think it's great. Now, do you, do you have a website with just information on it? Yeah. So the website is Power by Proxy. That's Power by B Y Proxy P R O X I dot com. Well, this is really great. You know, I love that idea because I, I use one of those sleeves, and you have to remember to put the phone facing the right way. And, and this, this is great. This is completely thought free. So the, the system is intelligent enough just to send power to where that device is. So it knows there's a device there. It knows there's no device here. And it'll only turn on where it sees a device. You know what? If you laid some of those AA batteries on here, would it charge them? T today, no. So ultimately, our vision is that you'd have a ubiqu ubiquitous ecosystem in your home where you'd have, say, th a three-dimensional charger like this in your kitchen for all your kitchen appliances, maybe one in your kids' room for their toys, uh, one in the lounge for all your gaming needs, and then you'd have pads like this on your, at, at your home office desk, uh, maybe beside your bedside table to recharge your e-book reader and your phone, at the office, of course. So you have a whole ecosystem of transmitters in the various areas that you work and play that can recharge all of your devices. Great. I like it a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so I've, I've seen this at past shows, but I understand a brand new one is coming out. Yes. It's called our X7A modular computer. This is our original 5A 
This is a dual core processor. Our new one is a, is a quad core processor and it runs on 40 watts of power. So you have a high performance desktop computer that runs on less than a 60 so watt bulb. Yes, this is the entire thing is the computer, and it's based on the XI3 computer architecture. What we've done is we've broken the motherboard into a modular motherboard, so it's based on three components. So when new technology, new I.O., new processors come out, you can just take the old stuff out, put the new stuff in, and you're relevant still. You know, your computer, instead of lasting three to five years, lasts you up to ten years. Uh, and then the energy savings... Um, on something like this where it's one-tenth the power, if you have a, a company that, you know, has five, 6,000 computers, we have an energy savings calculator on our website where you can go in and do the calculations based upon the state that you're in. I mean, because that's a, what power costs is a, st is a constant, you know. I mean, you can go look up and see how much it is. We're saving companies millions of dollars a year. So it's, it's just mainly... Uh Focused on companies buying large volumes, or do you have a lot of today individual? We've been, today we've been business to, business to business primarily, but with our new 7A offering, we're getting into the gaming market and the consumer market. We have that one, and then we also have this is our, our, our Zero Pro, and this is this runs on 15 watts of power. This is a full blown x86 based computer, but you can see how small it is. Runs on 15 watts of power, and uh, this starts at 399. And the other one, the price point on the other one? Yeah, the, the 5A is our old model, but the 7A is going to start at around 999. Okay, and that's that's or that'll be released in the next day or so. Uh, quarter two. Probably. Quarter two. So yes. okay, uh, that is really neat. We've seen some amazing stuff here at the uh, Digital Experience, and it's Sticky Bartola. There's more specials. You have to go to twit.tv slash specials, and you can see all the stuff we've done here at the show. But basically, you've seen the best right now. Now, go see the other stuff. Compare, uh, write like a hundred word essay about which was better and why. And, and you know, I want some thought put into the, and feeling put into those reports. Now, actually, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, Chad is great to work with. Daryl's been a trooper. Michael's just been wonderful. Fell down nine or ten times. Got right up. Moved those cables across. Cleared the dessert cut off. But we bared on through, and we have actually finished. So Dick Tebar told the Mads Medis to end the Gizwiz, saying, I'll be here, which doesn't work at all in this context. Bye.